welcome back to my channel my name is victoria if you are new to this channel please subscribe and if you do like this video at the end give it a thumbs up and if you have been following me since i started you guys would know that i have glasses but i do have contacts now and i'm super excited because i cannot stand glasses um i've always had contacts ever since i was prescribed them um so i'm pretty excited that i have contacts now um, i might take them out when i sleep um lately like if i'm just home i'll just wear my glasses but when i transfer from my glass my contacts to my glasses my vision gets all jacked up because the glasses i have now are my old prescription and i'm waiting for my new prescription to come in so i'm gonna try to wear my glasses or my contacts more often and avery is watching her movie right here thank you she gave me back this she likes to take emery's pacifiers why give it back to me I need a breaker from that. I'm trying to break her, but she'll find them throughout the rooms and stuff. Um, <clears throat> so I have contacts in, and if you noticed, I got my hair done. <coughs> Sorry, I was gonna get an ombre, but uh, my hairdresser told me to get a balayage, and I like it. So um, I'm trying to go lighter, but I don't wanna kill my hair too fast, so. <coughs> Sorry. I don't want to kill it fast, so I'm going to just use the blue shampoo that she told me to get. And I'm going to go back in November to get it lighter, hopefully. I want to like a, like a really blonde blonde. Not all of it, but like the balayage is fine. So like how it looks now, but this part, blonde. <coughs> so I like it. And I got it cut a little bit, but I don't know if you can really tell. And I'm trying to motiv motivate myself to have it done every day. I'm not going to wash my hair every day. I'm not going to do my hair every day. But I do use the wand. So the wand does the curls pretty good. Like it'll stay for a few days. So I curled it yesterday morning. And it's still wavy. So that's what I'm going to be most likely doing all the time. Probably straighten it. Probably do my hair up once in a while. But majority of the time I want to have my hair done. So I don't look all bummy. So, let's get into the video. So today I actually wanted to talk about how I brought back my milk supply with Emery when she had her tongue tie. When she was around, I guess, coming to the fourth week, um, her tongue tie was acting up. She wasn't latching good. She would latch on and then latch off. Um, she didn't seem satisfied, and I know she didn't seem satisfied because... Um, she wouldn't cry, she would just fall asleep right away. And I know they say if your baby's not getting enough or not latched on right, they'll fall asleep within like minutes of breastfeeding. So that was her. Um, so at that time, I had to give her bottles. They were breast milk, so luckily I didn't have to supplement with formula. Um, so I gave her bottles and I nursed too, just so I wouldn't lose my supply. Um, at that time my milk was going down i didn't feel as full i wouldn't feel a let down um it just didn't feel right so i called to schedule her appointment they scheduled her an appointment at four weeks to get her tongue with her tongue tie released so within that time before we got it cut um i was struggling to pump i would try to pump and i would probably get maybe an ounce out of each um, again, she was nursing, but she didn't seem satisfied. I'd give her a bottle right after and she drank the whole thing. So that's how you know that they're not getting enough too. Um, I would try to drink a lot more water. That didn't really help. And of course, I was stressed out at the time because I was thinking to myself, Oh my God, I'm not going to be able to breastfeed her. So I was like making myself feel really bad and stress is like the number one cause to make your milk supply decrease and dry up. So that wasn't helping at all either. I'm sorry if I keep looking back. Emery's in the playpen right there. Just chilling. Um, so that happened. And then when we got her for her four week, when we went to her four week appointment, um, they released it. She latched on right away, was having no problems. Um, my milk was still kind of how it was previous. 
So, um, I want to tell you guys the things that I used to help my supply go back up. And I know there's a bunch of tips out there, but this is what worked for me. And I still do it here and there. Just like if I want to pump or something, then I'll try to eat it or I'll try to use them more just so my supply could be up, up, up so I could pump. Um, Cause I do need to build back my supply that I had stored up because we were using a lot of it when her tongue tie was affecting her latch. So let's get on into it. So the things that I used to help my supply go back up was obviously I drink a lot of water. Water is good for you, you need to stay hydrated because the baby is sucking off you, sucking everything that you got, so you feel all drained if you are not hydrated. So I drink a lot of water, plus I love water, I like it cold. Um, I ate, I tried eating a lot more. Um, I don't eat whatever because there's certain things that can make your baby's stomach hurt. So you kind of have to watch out with what you do eat. Um, like spicy food can make your stomach, um, your baby's stomach hurt. Um, with Avery, uh, tomato sauce made her stomach hurt. She got really gassy and her stomach hurt. That's when we knew she had colic. Um, so I just kind of watch out with what I eat sometimes. Um, I try not to have too much dairy because dairy could also be bad. Um, it could be, I don't know, I guess it could mess up their stomach, um, too much dairy. So I drink a lot of water. I ate a lot of more, I ate a lot more food. That's good. Um, foods that I did eat to try to bring up my supply was oatmeal. Oatmeal is really good to eat, especially it's good breakfast. Um, so I eat oatmeal. I have to go get more because we ran out. And I do eat these granola bars. These are really good. I got them at Sam's Club. You could get them at Slater Brothers. It comes in like a big pack. So I got those. I like having them throughout the day once in a while. Um, I keep one upstairs in my breast pump bag just in case like I want to eat one when I'm feeding her at night so I'll do that I'll drink water at night um, and then the number one thing I do take every day is upspring milk flow it's fenugreek so it's a breast milk supplement I don't know if you could really see it like the glare is kind of it's like right there <laughs> can't really see it but I got this at Target, so um, it comes with a hundred pills, little tab capsules. Um, it smells like maple, so like when you do start taking them, sometimes your I know this is weird, but your pee will smell like maple. It's weird enough. So they they don't really taste that good. So um, you can take it twice a day. It's recommended to take it twice a day, and then you can take it um, three to four times daily. But you have to space them out. And give me one second. Okay, sorry. She started to get fussy. There she is. She's almost two months, you guys. That's going by so quick. Okay, so um, so I take those every day. I take one in the morning, and I try to take one at night if I can remember. So that's that. Um, I feel like that helped out a lot with bringing up my supply. Um, also, once in a blue moon, I'll drink these. They're the like tea things. Those are really gross. A lot of people don't like them. They have like an awful taste of them. So when I do drink them, I put some lemon in it to just try to give it some decent flavor. Hardly drink those, like I said, um, but I do want to start drinking them in the mornings. Um, so we'll see how I do with that. Also, another thing that I drink, I started drinking kind of before we were having the milk situation. Um, I bought this. It's the Upspring Milk Flow. So it's like the pills. It's from the same brand. It promotes health. It promotes healthy milk supply. Um, it's all natural, gluten free, no GMO, and it's berry flavored. They have a chocolate favor but I didn't think that was gonna be good to put in water so I didn't get that um, so I got those um, those I felt like when I first started using it my milk was really good um, I think it's only I think you're only really allowed to just drink like two a day I think it says it on the box um, yeah I think like two is like good like you don't want to 
go over that i don't know what happens if you go over it but i don't want to try it um, i haven't had to drink one in a while um, because my milk supply has came back to normal not to where it used to be like when i first had her but that's because it adjusts to what she needs and right now she does not she guess i guess she doesn't need that much or she's very picky i guess not picky but she's watching her figure so she doesn't want to drink them at too much she likes to snack so she won't do a whole feeding she snacks so like if i feed her one time if she takes like a little nap she'll want to wake up and eat again that's not i don't think i don't consider that cluster feeding because she's not crying um so she just snacks um avery kind of snack like that too they don't like feeding on both sides at one feeding they'll feed on one side and then feed on the other like 30 minutes later so that's just how they are um so those are the things that i use to bring up my supply again these are just what help me there's a bunch of other things that you could use to bring up your supply but these are what help me um you could look on google <clears throat> you could look on youtube videos of what people use for their milk supply <clears throat> and i am losing my voice <clears throat> yeah okay so that's just what worked for me again i'm not a lactation consultant um these might not work for you i know um like one of these i guess my sister-in-law didn't really care for um she said it worked but she just didn't care for so i my really go-to is the tea the water and the granola bar um oatmeal is really good again so the granola bar is like a good snack you could eat throughout the day so why not so this is it for that for this video i just wanted to share with you guys how i brought back my milk supply up from almost drying up um, one thing i did too uh, before we i end this video is i power pump um when i was losing my milk supply i powered pump um like 30 minutes after i was done feeding her i would try to pump for at least 20 minutes straight and of course you're not going to get milk out that whole 20 minutes so you kind of have to understand that um so it's just stuff, uh, stimulating your boobs <laughs> it's just stimulating your boobs to um, produce more milk so i would do that constantly in that time when my milk supply wasn't good and then after two when she got her tongue tie released i would try it and i felt like it it helped out a lot um but that's just me i like pumping I like doing both. Um, bottles help out when if, like, I want to take a shower or if I'm busy doing something. Um, my husband or my mother-in-law says, oh, I'll feed her. That's fine with me. Um, but every mother has their way of feeding, wanting to feed their child. And I do both. Um, I am strictly just breastfeeding her still. So she's getting bigger. She is almost two months. She'll be two months on the 30th. Um, she has her two month appointment and she's gonna get her shots. I'm sad. We'll see how big she is. Um, I feel like she's gotten bigger for sure she has cause she doesn't fit a newborn. Zero to three, she doesn't really fit. They're too, they're still kind of too tight on her now. So she fits in three months perfectly fine. Diaper, she's a size one. Um, but I might have to change her to a two soon cause they just seem like they're getting a little too tight. Um, we'll just see how everything goes i might do a two month um update with her comment down below or like this video if you want to see that and i want to do a little giveaway when i hit 100 subscribers so if you want to enter in that getaway getaway giveaway please subscribe give this video a thumbs up and just stay tuned for when i do hit 100 100 subscribers and i will be t giving you guys more details on how to enter huh so thank you for watching this video if you do like this video give it a thumbs up if you are not yet subscribe to this channel subscribe sorry if i'm all all over the place like the way i talk <sighs> i'm just ready to eat i'm hungry um i get hungry all the time now so yeah Thank you for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Bye. Say bye. Bye.